Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Back up, back you up with the information that matters to you And yo, check this out, man I almost forgot what I was supposed to be saying Listen, Benzino used uh, Benzino, he used to own the Source magazine Alright, remember the Source magazine? And, and at the time, the artist was having a back and forth with Eminem Alright, now, if you know anything about the Source magazine You know, for an album to get five mics The joint had to be super special You see what I'm saying? Now, uh, Benzino lost his spot of owning um, the Source in 2006 But he stated that he was low-key involved in Eminem not getting five mics that artists um, that artists want and aim to get, which essentially sounds like they was gonna give him five mics, but he thwarted that. All right, he said this. He said, "Quote: I was at the top of my mu- of my father mucking food chain." He said, "He said even Russell Simmons, Leo Cohen, all these ninjas, Steve Stout, and everybody, they all had an answer to somebody. I was at the top of, top of a damn near seventy five million dollar company when ninjas wasn't getting money like that." I got that big money first And I was at the top of that So when Eminem came through the source At this point Is getting disrespectful So how the cuff am I gonna have this ninja In my magazine My man said Would you You're not gonna put nobody in your magazine To give this ninja five mics After this ninja's been disrespectful You wouldn't do it man Nobody would Close quote You see that you see how your content could be insane, but if the people at the top of the chain hide you from the masses or don't acknowledge your content, your content runs the risk of not even getting out. See what I'm saying? And this is why we're often left with the lack of innovation. You know what I'm saying? A consistent mediocrity in terms of content. You know what I mean? It drives me insane. Uh, let me give you this last one real quick. Okay. As you already know, uh, Kanye West divorced Kim K, and uh, and uh, and uh, he married another woman by the name of Bianca Sensori. All right. Now we haven't heard too much about her, and the two have been pretty low key. But apparently, she comes from a notorious Australian crime family. All right. Her uncle Eris Sensori is a known killer who had the moniker of Melbourne's Al Capone. Can you imagine what Al Capone in Australia is? You wouldn't go to Australia just for the spiders. Can you imagine what Al Capone in Australia is like? That's insane. Uh, what else we have here? Her dad did a five-year bid in the 80s for selling heroin, right? And her brother has been in and out of prison for mob, mob-like, mob child-like behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like putting the paws on police officers and making threats. And last week, his wife was given power. Bianca Sensori, she was given the power of attorney over his affairs. Now, her family has nothing to do with her, except for the fact that they share DNA, <laughs> yeah, which could be, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Back up, back to you up with the information that matters to you.